They were all frightened of the death. We all were, because we, we, you never knew what was going to happen. You didn't know if there was any, well, there were, there were Japanese and, and German submarines around, but... We was on the western side of the Pacific and the Americans were on the eastern side of the Pacific and we went up together until we reached Japan to take the capitulation at Japan. We took a pasting off, um, off Sumatra and Java but there was a, a Japanese air force and a naval base which, we did, which they didn't know about but we knew about it when we got there. The American aircraft carriers had got wooden decks we got steel decks on ours, but so once the, the Japanese kamikaze pilots realised that the Americans had got wooden decks, they concentrated on them to set them on fire. And my la I've got a, a vivid memory of those aircraft carriers disappearing over the horizon on fire. We, we were doing air sea rescue work behind the aircraft carriers so that when the the fighter bombers came back from from doing their damage to the Japanese mainland. With, if they had got any damage, they say the the wheels wouldn't come down, so they land, crash landed. But they just pushed them off the deck, pilot and all. And our job, just destroy behind, was to pick the to pick the pilot out of the plane before it sank. When we got to Japan, they didn't know whether the Japanese had depth charged the harbour. So the, they decided that they weren't going to let the big ships go in because they would, they were deeper in the water. So we had to go in, the destroyers, and fish around in the, in the harbour to make sure that there was no depth charges about. I think that was one of the frightening moments of, of my life there. We're not knowing what was going to happen then. We then had the job of going round all the little islets and things around Japan, telling the suicide um, boats that the war was over. But we was carrying a Japanese naval officer and a Japanese army officer, we were flying the Nippon flag, the Royal Navy flag, and also the Union Jack, going round this, around the island, telling them that the war was over. But it was frightening because they they'd not been communicated. They didn't know the war was over, so they came charging out at us, and we were praying they were going to see, you know, the flags, which they did. So we never, otherwise, we would have been blown clean out of the water. It was one of those things. You were in that situation, and you did you did what what you had to do. Whatever the circumstances were, I went in as a boy and came here as a man. That's how I look on my career. <laughs>